Welcome back students. In previous video tutorial, we have seen the conversion of 5 digit BCD number into 4 digit hexadecimal number. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how to convert a 4 digit hexadecimal number into equivalent BCD number. Okay. So till now, we have seen the procedures on how to display a number into hexadecimal number system. But here, we will require a procedure to accept a number into hexadecimal. Why the separate procedure is required? Because hexadecimal numbers, the numbers which can be part of your hexadecimal number system is variable. Like 0 to 9 can be part of your hexadecimal number, small a to f and capital A to f. So whatever number is entered by the user, first you need to ensure that yes, it is falling in the valid range of this x and then only you can accept it. Okay. So, for that what we will do, we will write a separate accept procedure for it and suppose I will give the name for that procedure as accept. Okay. So, here what we are expecting, we are expecting 4 digit number. So, we will actually read a 5 digits or 5 characters from the input console because whatever mm, characters or keys praised by your user are 4 are for your number and fifth one is your enter key. So, for that reason what we will do, we will read 5. So, just ensure your buffer is of only 5. Okay. So, this we will use as per our requirement. Next is, uh, we need to set the counter. Why? Because we want to work on only 4 initial 4 num digits. And so we will set our counter as 4. For accessing the elements or for accessing the numbers, we need to store our base address into RSI. And next further, whatever our required registers are, that registers we will initialize it to some specific content. For example, we will require a BX register. So, what we will do? First, we will make the content of BX as 0. So, before that we will just work on a uh, small iteration. Suppose this is the number entered by your user and your fifth one is your enter key. So, what we have done till now, we have pointed or stored the base address of this buffer into RSI. 1234 is the number, we require BX, so that BX value we have done is 0. So, 4444 4, 4, 4, 16 bits are 0. So, how we, we are going to check? First, we will take first number entered by the user. We will check whether it is really in between the valid range. Now, the valid range means 0 to 9, then my small a to f and it can be capital A to f. This is the valid hexadecimal range. And if my number is between 0 to 9, then some ASCII values I need to subtract as we have done in previous case. So, for 0 to 9 we have subtracted 30H. If it is between small a to f, then I need to subtract 57H. And if it is between capital A to f, then I need to subtract 37H mm -hmm. from it. Okay. So, this is how we can work on the actual value by subtracting the ASCII's from it. So, what we will do now, we will take this into accumulator will require AL because of only one byte size and then we will check for these ranges either it is between this, this or this range. As per the range we will subtract the equivalent ASCII and whatever subtraction result we will get that is nothing but the part of your AL and that we will add it into BX. Okay? But while doing so at every iteration we will shift the content of BX by 4 bit to the left side. So, what happens in shift, this left side 4 bits are being discarded, new 4 bits are added from the same right end. Okay. So, let us see how it works. So, suppose AL is now part of this, uh, 1 is now part of this AL. So, we will check the ranges 0 to 9, yes it is between 0 to 9, we will subtract 30H from it. After subtraction, it will have value as 1 in AL and we will add this value with BX. So, we will do the addition of BX and AX together and so we will get 
at the end or bx as so we'll just write down the bx as this will be 0 initial 4 bit this are also 0 initial 4 bit this is also 0 and lastly 0 0 0 1 why because we have added this 1 into this bx okay al1 means what this al i will just show how it is actually in binary so when you add this al with this bx then you will get at the end the value of bx like this so in second iteration what we are going to do we will increment our rsi so that we can point to this number and we will shift the content of this bx to the left side by 4 bit so now bx is this after shifting this 4 bits will get shifted means it get deleted and from this end there will be so we'll write the new bx after shifting so the content of bx will be so this 4 then this next 4 then this 1 and after shifting new 4 bits are being added from the right end so this 4 are newly added bits and this is being deleted from the bx so this is how your bx become second num digit is what 2 so again we'll check the range yes it is between 0 to 9 subtraction of 30h from it you will get 2 into al so the value of al will be so 2 we'll just write in binary so this is 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 okay so this is how you will get the number now what we need to do again add this al with bx and so finally you will get your bx value as so first four bits will be zero next four bits will be zero then will be zero 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 one and now this is being added from the rear end so the contents are like this is something new four bits being part of your bx now in third iteration in similar way again shifting of bx to the left side by four bits will be done so these four bits will get deleted new four bits will get added from the right end so your bx will be like this one zero zero one zero and new 4 bits because of the shifting so this is the complete bx after shifting it to the left side by 4 bit now in al we will have this 3 the number you will again check the range it is between 0 to 9 subtract 30h so the content of your al will be like this So again addition into bx, so bx contents after addition will be and this one one which you have recently added ok. So in fourth iteration now again the same will get carry forward this shifting operation will be performed on bx so in fourth iteration your bx value is like this so first i will work on the bx value this is my bx So, we will write down the bx value first. This is 1 because we have shifted it to the left side by. So, upper 4 bits will not be part of your bx now. And new 4 bits 0 that is nothing but 0 will get added from the rear end this right end. So, this are the new 4 bits added in as a part of your bx. 
AL is now here 4. So we'll represent AL. So this is your AL content. After addition of AL and BX together, you will get your BL as like this first four bits, second four bit, then third, and then your okay. So this is how your BX is. So if you consider it as part of four four bits, so this is nothing but your number. This is 1, 2, 3 and 4. But now this will be collectively considered as your number. Okay. So combinedly this will be considered as a number. Whatever the equivalent number is, that is nothing but your decimal number. Okay. So this is how we are going to write the procedure here. So we will just write the set of instructions now. So very uh, first operation we need to perform that taking the value at RSI into AL. After that, we will do the comparison. So the comparison is like, first we'll compare AL with zero. If it is not in between, then we need to check because we are working on the uh, valid hexadecimal range only. So error label is something which display the error message like, please enter the correct number. So next we'll compare it with 9. So if it is between or equal to means below or equal to then what we will do. So we will subtract 30 H from it. So now this sub 30 is the label which we will use somewhere. So what should be part of here sub 30. So it should subtract the 30 H from your AL. Okay. Now similarly, we need to compare the AL with first we'll compare it with capital range. Jump if below, then we'll display the error message. Again, we'll compare it with A to F, capital A to F if below or equal then we'll move what we need to subtract 37 is so i will give the name as 37 sub 37 to it and we'll write here so what we need to subtract al comma 37 okay similarly for small a to f range we need to work on so we'll just update the code in this. So what we need to subtract for a small, it should be 57. So here we will write the equivalent subtraction for 57. Okay, so AL comma 57. Now we will see the why I have changed these values because this is the serial execution. So when control is transferred to 57, then 27, 27 and this 30, total it becomes 57. So this is how we have written it in, in uh, reverse order. Then remaining part is to add your BX and AX together. After that, we need to work on next number. So we need to increment our RSI, decrement our counter that is nothing but rcx and repeat this till counter becomes zero but from which location from this first location okay so one more task is pending so first i will next uh, byte will suppose give the number uh, label name so we'll first jump to this location at every iteration at the start of every iteration we need to shift the content of our bx by 4 and then only the number will get accepted in correct order and it will get stored into bx okay so the same accept procedure now we are going to use one more pending thing is what error label so error label you can take 
out of or inside the uh, procedure so what error label should have it should display so error message suppose erm message is the error message which you have taken so just and after error if you want to terminate the execution you can terminate okay so this error label will first declare here so error label so any relevant error message you can like please enter valid hex number so this can be the error label okay okay 